What's up, YouTube? I was just doing a Model 10 Smith and Me Smith and Wesson Model 10 review, and uh, I just titled this "Revolvers, Cigars, and Coffee." <laughs> so I went, I went to the range today, and um, just shot off 250 rounds all through this Model 10. Um, Smith & Wesson Revolver 38 Special 38 Special Plus P and um, I just cleaned it because I had some dirty ammo and I just cleaned it and put a little oil on it and made it look look uh, presentable again so I just wanted to show it off and do a little video Revolvers Cigars and Coffee <laughs> this is my Model 10 Smith & Wesson Classic series model 10 As you see 38 special 38 special plus P This is an old police revolver So if you was watching like a a, a, a a police movie like One item 12 or something This is something they would carry Now of course It came with these grips Which are nice grips you know, I think about sometimes changing them, but I just bought some wood black grips, which uh, just looked really good on this blue gun, right? Don't they look nice? Right? And this is, now I say, out of my, I only got six guns. <laughs> this is my most accurate gun. This is more accurate than my um, Model 586 uh, 357 Magnum. More accurate than uh, my mouse gun, my uh, carry piece, 38 Special, 40, 442. Um, more accurate than my Model 36. This is just an accurate gun. So, you know, I was kind of excited today because I went to the range and I was hitting at 75 yards a little tin can was well, a large tin can target but at 75 yards with this four inch model 10 and I and you I was hitting like 50% of the time that's pretty good <laughs> that's pretty accurate a full a four inch barrel model 10 357 back so I'm like no wonder why it was a favorite of the police back in the day until 90s hit. You know what I mean? So this is a sturdy gun. It has, you know, um, mem parts. It has the what they call the Hillary hole right here. Safety lock. I, I don't mind that, but, you know, whatever. People have their little quirks. Which, what I call it, um, revolver snobbery. <laughs> you know, revolver snobbery. But I don't mind the hole, but you know, it's a six shot. You see it's unloaded. No um pin mounted um on the hammer firing pin. It's a um internal. The firing pin's internal. Right? So this would be a more modern revolver. Single action is very sweet. Maybe two pounds. Let me play my song. You're not going to have my cool song right here. This is uh, Wayman Tisdale. Excuse me. Wayman Tisdale Circumstance. All right. But I might switch and put these back on. And, well, I don't know. Them black um, grips are beautiful, ain't it? This is just a beautiful gun. Just has that old, it's just old school. You know, it's just a beautiful fucking gun. So I shot 250 rounds through here today. This is a working gun. This gun is a workhorse. You know what I mean? And, um, not one misfire or jam. 
<laughs> Actually, I've shot maybe a total of 1,500 rounds through this gun. No exaggeration. Never one misfire jam or any problem ever. You know, revolvers are very reliable. This Model, model 10 Smith & Wesson is reliable. This is a quality made revolver. I was thinking about painting my sights orange. Like, hold on, let me show you. Now this is a piece I would carry, a little small one. Which, as you see, oops, I had painted the sights on here. I use a um, Krylon orange and painted the sights so you can see in the dark what them sights. Of course, these are uh, some wood grips I had chained from the rubber I had. Uh, this is a painful motherfucker to shoot. It's lightweight. But this is now right here. This is my favorite shooter. I just love going to the range with this Model 10. Um, it has weight on it. Um, you know, steel blue gun. Um, the barrel has weight. Um, so it's not painful to shoot. It's very fun to shoot. <clears throat> and I shoot and practice with my 38 Specials with this. You know, this is a quality gun. Double action is proper too. Single action is just beautiful on these classics. Just precision and quality of the Smith & Wesson. Model 10 Classic Series. It's just a sweet, beautiful gun. I cleaned him up good. You know, I used some new ammo. And there's some dirty ammo, so I just left these marks. I don't know if they're permanent marks right here, if you can see. Where it blew, like the blue came off. But um, I just won't be using that ammo again. But I cleaned him up pretty good. Alright. Wipe it down before I put it away. I don't like to leave no fingerprints on it and moisture. And I want my blue to last for a long time. Because I'm passing it down to my son. And I hope he passes it down to his son. And we're going to keep it in the Shelton line of family. One day I just might even get it engraved. And have Shelton put on this workhorse. And I think I'm going to paint these sides orange. All right, Smith & Wesson Model 10, 38 Special, I'm out.